Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. Today we are going to discuss about performance management topics. So today we are going to create the questions. How we can create the questions in the performance management? Today we are going to see that. Okay, so you can create the questionaries to gather information in application that support them. For example, you can use questionaries to collect feedback in a performance evaluation. So questionaries consist of several questions. So that's why we have to first create the question. Then we can associate those questions with the questionaries. Okay, so let's just directly move the application and see how we can create that questions. Okay, so here I'm logging as a HR specialist. So when creating a question, you specify the question type, additional instruction about the question image and attachment. So if any response type or the question is scoring option and more. You create questions in the question library. So let's just move to the task. So we are going to create a folder in the questions library and add question to this folder for use in the questionaries. Okay, so let's go to the my client group and then go to the quick action and scroll down below and then click on the show more option. Here we have to search for the talent. It here we have the talent and under the talent we have to search for the questions here you can see that just open it here you can see the question library right so first we have to create the folder And also you can see the subscriber, right? Subscriber application. So application which are eligible to use questionaries are called the subscriber application. So some subscriber application use setup and maintenance tasks to manage questionaries component. Uh, while other provide their own task or don't allow modification of the questionaries. So you can check in the document about the subscriber application. Okay, then we have to create the folder. So you maintain folder to store questionaries for each subscriber application. So you can create as many folder as required to differentiate or identify the questionaries. So I'm just going to create the folder here. So here we have to give the name Vision Performance Evaluation Quotient. then click OK. Then we have to select our folder. So it's automatically changed here. Now we have to create. Okay, so here we have to change the status into active and make sure your folder is the same you created right and then select privacy as a public here so here you can select private to permit only the owner to update the question and public to permit anyone with access to update it okay then here we have to fill the questions question text Let's see. Using um, 
vision describe the person's contribution to the team okay then here you can see the question type and also if you want to add any instruction or any image you can add here so here you can see that there is a different kinds of question type here okay so here you can see the uh, four types of question are available in the question type list right and for each question type we also configure the response and select the presentation method here for example for uh, uh, let's say single choice question you can specify that uh, uh, possibly response appear either in a list here you can see that right or you can just check this box on okay so if i just talk about the text so respond can either enter free from text as the answer to the question or they can enter a date using a date picker right and uh, here in the response type you can select the date the plain text and the rich text okay and if you want to allow the attachment you can just select this one okay and if we talk about the single choice so its respondent chooses only one correct answer okay so here you can select the single choice from list radio button list if you select the radio button list so there is a radio button appear in the answer right and you can select the radio button with the image okay and here you can also add the response feedback then if we talk about the multiple choice so uh, respondent can choose more than one answer right if you select the multiple choice and if you select the no response here so instructional text only no response is allowed here okay here you can see that all the fields are disappeared right and here you can see the display the question conditionally so check check box select this check box if you want to display the question based on a specific response that's provided to another question called the controlling question uh, for example if respondent answered no to a controlling question such as are you happy with the learning module so you can configure a text question to appear conditionally asking them to provide more detail for more information refer to the conditional question section in this question okay so if you select the single choice and multiple choice then you can provide a scoring option by uh, selecting the the score question here and this checkbox if you check on you can provide the score question here and uh, here select the type of response that a respondent must must provide to the question so each question type has a list of response type that you can choose from okay and here you can see the allow attachment so to allow respondent to upload attachment with their responses select the allow attachment checkbox for example if you have the question provide proof of the right to work in this country the respondent can upload an attachment to show proof of that right to work okay so respondent can add attachment for all type of question including no response and select the uh, allow additional comments here checkbox if you do like respondent to provide additional comments or response for their responses 
This option is available only for date responses of text question type and for all responses of single choice and multiple choice question type. So when you create a new version of a question or copy a question that has additional comment enabled, this option is available in the new question as well. However, it's not available for existing questions that are already published. This option may not be available in a certain runtime and setup page in um, recruiting and other module as well. Okay. Then if we select text here, you can see the minimum and maximum length field specify the length of the text responses or the start and end dates of the date responses. Okay, if you select the date here. Okay, so for this one, we have to just select the text here. And then in the response section, uh, we are going to select response type as a plain text. Okay. And then we have to define the minimum and maximum length. So let's define minimum length is 20 and maximum length is 2000. Okay. Then we can just save and close. That's how we can create the question in the performance management and we can add these question to the questionaries. Okay, so I hope this topic is clear to you how you can create question in the performance management. So thank you so much for watching the video.